Hello there, YouTube. Screwdriver project here. We used the handle off this for another project. I probably showed this in another video. These plastic balls were off a light that hung up. It had the chain on it. 70s, disco era. It was a bunch of grapes. So that's why there's a wire in there. We're going to make a screwdriver handle. We made another one of these and then we lost it. So we're going to be drilling a hole in here. Then we're going to be heating this and pushing this in here. And these tangs will hold it. The other one was getting loose, but I was going to pull it apart and put some epoxy in it. So that's the project. It makes a real nice, comfortable screwdriver. Not too long a chain. But we'll show real quick how good my little emery rubber buffer wheel works. This is even hot from the torch, my micro torch. If you can see the blue in the metal. So this is how good these work. I like to use these without a wire brush. Wire brush can put scrapes and stuff, just like sanding drums. If I can get away with just using this on a piece of metal, you see how good that works. Instead of going like this, make, I try to go at an angle. It may make a little bit of a spiral look, but enough of that. So this isn't too long a video. You see how nice that works. We may have to dust our lighting. Okay, on to the next step. We're going to be drilling the hole in here to match this. So that'll be the next step. This will drill really easy. This is a really hard, some people told me it's like a urethane. It's a plastic, but it will bounce back. If you, if you want this, it tends to take an impact without cracking. I made a shifter knob on my garden tractor out of these. Oh, I've had a bunch of them. They used to have make something similar to this with a string through it. Two of them, people would knock them together. They, we called them knockers. Very dangerous toy. I'm glad I took it off the market. I think I mentioned that in another video. I made a pair for a friend of mine that was younger than me, but he had a pair. I was hiding under his kitchen table when he was banging them together. I actually crawled under the table. Because these shatter, that is shrapnel. It's just the same as glass. It looks like a cat eye or something there. But, on with the video, we'll get the drill ready and we'll drill a hole in there. Okay, this is our next step. We have this in the vice grips. It's going to get hot. We've got our micro torch. We've got our hole drilled in here. And a little tip. When I'm going to drill a hole, I use my calipers to measure this piece and I use it to measure the drill bit. That way I do not have to look at the drill bit to see if there's any numbers on it. You know how small they are. I physically compare the size of the work to the size of the drill bit that I'm going to be using. Just another tip. These are junk. Dial is broke, but they're still good for measuring. You just can't measure in the thousands anymore. About as far as I dared drilled. Warning, attempt to set your own wrist. This is going to get hot. I really don't want to wear a glove. If you wear a glove, it's bulky. I would rather just stop. It's going to take a little bit for the heat to get out into my fingers. So that's another warning. I have a piece of tin up here for safety. I know I'm on a piece of paper here, but I have all the proper fire extinguishers and et cetera, et cetera. Safety goggles. I'll have my safety goggles on in case the plastic splatters. It can splatter. The hole is just a little bit, it should have been maybe a little bit smaller, but if this doesn't hold, I'll take it back apart and use epoxy. But the tangs is what's going to hold the screwdriver from turning. I wouldn't use this on anything heavy duty, ripping apart a car into them, but it makes a nice screwdriver. The reason I'm making it is I have a ratchet screwdriver. 
It's pretty junky. It's been to where I've had to put tape on it. I'd shorten this and braze this, but I haven't put tape the whole thing. This is an old ratchet ball screwdriver. I have a cheesy orange and blue one. This is very fine. If you listen that quick, you can be down in an engine or somewhere. You listen that very fine how it clicks. You can move this. Red for on and black for off. So if you even found this part, you can make this part. You could spend the time have something make it for it. You could find a steel shank, whatever size that is. Where? Look here, it says too loose and I do not have, know how old these are. But I pushed this to the point I've heard it kind of crack and flex. I hate to ruin it. This is great for uh, getting in small places. You don't want to be ramming in a cordless screwdriver or electric screwdriver or something, but this will fit down a lot of tight spots. It's been modified. I shortened this piece because this part was just too long, so I have plenty of extensions. And then it lost its little clip in there, so I taped my bit holder in here. Then I'll even tape my bits in there. But whatever works. This is the main part of the tool. Kind of imitate this. It gives you a grip. It give you a grip on something. Hose clamps are down in somewhere. So, on with the work. Don't make this too long. This can build a lot of pressure. I've had these pop, try to pop off. It's really not hot in my hand. See, my bare hands on there. I do have my vice grips over here for a heat thing. I grab onto the blade. Not perfectly centered. These have like a flat spot, but it's in there. Let's shut this off. Just for a little test, I'll see how hot it is out here. It's not that hot. I'm holding it in my hand. I heated this in. Now you have a nice round ball on a screwdriver bit. And to get this out of a screwdriver, say this is in the hand, this is the handle, just heat about here. You can see where it was blue where I took it out. Heat it up. So I have a vice grips out here. And maybe a glove even on the plastic part of the screwdriver handle, because it's not as big around as this and heat it so you can pull it out of the screwdriver. You may have a screwdriver with a junky handle, you may come across the plastic ball like this. They probably had a collector value to decorators, whatever, a bunch of grapes, but it was so rotten and rusted in the chain, I mean, it hung in my shed for years. I'd had the thing for myself for probably 20 years. So I ended up with all these, and they're different sizes. They had smaller sizes, bigger size. It's not perfectly centered. I'm sure if you checked it, it's not perfect, but it is warm as I'm getting. It's still warm up in here. I wouldn't want to go any further now. I work with metal and heat all the time, so it's kind of like a blacksmith. I wouldn't burn. Somebody else would probably burn their fingers already doing this. So don't don't tempt yourself there to do it. I've used a lot of heat on stuff. I I can touch stuff that won't burn me like it does other people. I don't know what they call that, scientifically, but you can almost see the tangs in there. The tang is to the top, I'll turn it, so they're both top and bottom where it's wider. You can see the tang in there. I should have had the hole maybe a little bit smaller. I would maybe recommend that. Use a bit that's one size smaller, but it's in there. If it ever if it ever started to come loose and come out, I would just put some epoxy inside of there. Got a nice little screwdriver. They work really well. You can get them in your hand. I wouldn't get too carried away with it, but they fit in your hand to get down in places. It works really right. That's hot. I just touched that. That's enough to burn you. But 
you want this video to be too long, there you go. You might come across a plastic ball like this. This stuff smells like the most nasty car paint you've ever smelled when you drill it. I've been told it's like a urethane. It doesn't remind me of lacquer paint when I smell it, but it's a really, when you just drill into this, it really has a smell. Someone told me they made skateboard wheels, urethane, similar type stuff. It's impact resistant. It can take a pretty good hit without cracking. Whatever type of plastic it was. It doesn't shatter easily. I took one that wasn't that we messed up on drilling. I actually experienced I'd smack one with a hammer enough times to where it took a lot of impacts before it actually crumbled and cracked. But I'm sure this video is too long, but it is interesting I think. I've never really seen anything like this on the market. I like sharing stuff with the world there. I know I'd never get it patented. Some of you just, another company just come along and make it cheaper and put you out of business, but that's why you share it with YouTube, I guess. But it's a nice little tool, and you could make it in a smaller size. You could have a smaller bit, you could have a little bit smaller plastic ball on the end. There you go. Thanks for watching.